That's a lot louder, dog. Bro, that's still cold start. Keep doing that. A little bit of turbo noise. A little bit. That's a that's lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. For a B58? Yes. Uh, I guess I could tune in and go drive. Yes, sir. It's not opened up yet, is it? It's no, still, not yet. It's still cold start mode. Yeah, about to be super quick. All right, so now we got super license. We're good on that. So, stage zero, AKA what I have now. Yes. Why is there zero stage plus? zero plus? Because that's the power kit. Oh, okay. So, we got stage one for stock unmodified cars. Stage two, uh, and then we have stage two HPFP, which I don't have. It's a TU pump. But I could go, since I'm on 93, I can go stage two or I can go E30. Can the stock pump handle that? Do you have E85? No, I don't, ah. unfortunately. But we're gonna try. 93 tune. We're gonna try 93, uh, stage two, and long right. God damn it. Exhaust setup, aftermarket downpipe, remove top speed limiter, exhaust burble, no. Uh, cold start reduction, yes. Uh, exhaust flap always open in sport mode, yes. No? No. No? Okay. No, guys. Uh, sport cooling mode, cooling target, stock. Okay, so we're good. Long right. Uh oh, there you go. Drive chain malfunction. Right away. That's how you know it's working. Chassis wait, malfunction. Wait, I'll turn it on the car. Imagine that. That's how you know a BMW is probably working right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Throws a code and you don't even do anything. Bro, you don't even start the car. You just open the door. All right, we'll be back in five minutes. All right. Okay, the tune is almost finished. Yeah, we had some flashing issues. Uh, it failed twice because... Uh, Unknown reasons with the iPhone bullshit. Don't press that button. Don't even try to. Ooh, zero seconds. Actually, it's like it's making noises now. Cause before it was just like dead, dead, dead. There you oh. go. That's the noise that we were. Coding success. For. Okay. That's, the, that's what we were looking for, bro. Wait thirty seconds. There you go. So from outside, I mean from inside. It's nice and quiet. It's definitely got a lot of spooly noise now. <laughs> yep. But when you're cruising, I don't hear any. I hear turbo though. Definitely more turbo noises. Uh, it is a little bit. I guess it's gonna get raspy air, but we'll see. And that's what the valve's closed right now. Definitely more turbo noises. A little bit. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick that up. I don't think it will be able to pick it up, pick it up, but... It's got the... You definitely hear a lot of noises now. Yep. Sounds like a truck. <laughs> Let's go to sport. Got the power oh. bolts. Okay, that's what burbles off. Yeah, well, I mean, stock they have burbles, so it's not gonna get rid of them. Yeah, so I don't. Yeah, well, but it got decent, decent. It's not. It's right not. Now. It's not bad. Yeah, like uh, you can deal with it. With it's it. not one of those where it goes. Yeah, and and as you're coming to the stop, yeah. and it's still going, going, and going, yeah, and then it stops as you as soon as you stop. Yeah. This is like. <laughs> it's like Steven's farts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> yeah These are my purpose. <laughs> I don't have it on. <laughs> Going straight to Mexico. Okay. 
IATs are still going down. But it does feel better in uh, higher gears. More spoiled boy noises. I mean, you can feel the car like pushing you back, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Just the fact that you're used to the power in the A90. I think that's what it is. So I was like, uh, yeah, I know for a fact. When, I know where you were coming. That's so. what I'm saying. It's like, it's good. Yeah, but I'm it's used not. to. I'm yeah. used to a the different E90. power level. Yeah, for sure. Because E90, mean, you hit in second gear. That shit lights up tires like nothing. Almost 600 horsepower car that you daily drive, bro. Of course you're gonna get used <laughs> to it. <laughs> Turn on the heat for the Islander over here. <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro. I mean, like, come on, that shit. <laughs> come on. It is like. She was gonna spin. Okay. She was gonna spin. What's okay. Up, she tried to spin, but it's the fact that we got too many people over here. That's for sure. No, it's the fact that I don't have DSC. Come on. on. <laughs> And I never have it in Sport Plus. Praise oh. God. But we'll turn off DSC completely. All right, there you go. Look at all that horsepower. Wow. 480. Hey, it didn't do that in, uh, on the stock tune. I, I'll give you that. <laughs> and it's got Pilot Sport AS, so all season. Yeah. They're Which not, is even, not that bad, but. They're not bad. Hey, there's a Taco Bell, Steven. You want some? <laughs> bro, I was hungry for Taco Bell. I ate some chips, bro. <laughs> some Lay's. It was, it was yummy. I was hungry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she's fat. Yes, <laughs> she's fat. She's fat. Twenty point nine pounds of boost. We need to turn up boost. Yes. Let me change settings real quick. <laughs> That was brake boosting second gear. A little bit. It does get swirly in second gear. She gets nasty. Bro, she even I think it's just the fact that there's a newer car. So, you know, it's not like... It's more planted. Like it's it not is. like the E90 where you fucking feel every Everything. single... Yeah. You feel the goddamn farts from the goddamn uh, raccoons on the fucking road <laughs> when you're driving that shit. This is like, alright, I'm just going to absorb half of this shit. Right. Because when you hit like a hundred in this, it's like, all right. And this is also stock suspension, too. M Sport. Yeah. Oh, yeah, M Sport. <laughs> all right, we're going to make a gas station stop so we can hear the exhaust. Okay. Because we can't be revving this shit in my neighborhood at like nine o'clock at night. I'm sure your neighbors would love that. Well, they already love the E90, so. <laughs> Every time I start it, all you hear is a blah, 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 Especially with the AC on. Oh, my God. It's worse. New Mexico, bro. Uh-oh, there's some meat over here. All the Honda boys. That shit is pretty loud, bro. What was that, like 3K? Not even. Oh my god. That's pretty loud, bro. Pretty loud for, uh... <laughs> Stock exhaust with a fucking high flow downpipe. Yeah, with, I mean, it's pretty much straight pipe. Pretty much.
Exhaust overall. Maybe it'll change it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, as far as the power, definitely worth it. I don't know how boot mod feels. Um, well, I've done a lot of boot mod, and actually, not even not to line or anything like that. But the second gear doesn't light up the tires like MHD. Bro, and we have three people in the car, too. And we have three people in the car. That so, is true. Like, I never felt boot mod, to be honest, whenever I finished tuning the car with, with the full, full bolt and safe bolts that you have, basically. And then feel the car, like, spinning or anything like that. Like, it just goes. It just, it just went. Yeah, that's it. That's what I was saying. I was like, I've driven multiple 340s with stage 2 boot mod and, you know, downpipe intake. And exhaust. But you whatever. really have nothing to compare it to. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, it was it was fine. It it definitely feels a lot better than stock. Yeah. But it's not the same as this, I guess. I wonder. I wonder if MSD and Bootman like boot uh, the the boost difference. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if you if you have a 340 that has Bootman stage two, let me know what you got. Yeah. Let me know what you got as far as boost, because I don't know. I think you can measure boost on theirs as well. Didn't you get a drag, or is that Christian? That's Christian's. You well, we are we are going to do a draggy because we tried one 60 to 130, and it took a decade to get to 60 to 130. <laughs> so we just stopped. <coughs> we did zero to 60, and I know it was like five seconds or some shit like that. Well, it's definitely going to be a lot quicker now. Yeah, now it's just going to light up tires. Yeah. You guys want to see a race video later on <laughs> with my new car. You guys already know me, the 135 guy. But oh, I got wait, a new they one. They haven't seen the new one yet, though. No, have they? they haven't. They uh, haven't, bro. So we can, we probably got to have a little race. Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what happens, bro. All uh, right. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I gotta see. I gotta see how much this car makes now, which is gonna be on the to-do list as far as dynoing the car with the stage two tune. Since the car already had, a, when you look at MHD, it has the option for a stage zero plus, <laughs> which is what this car had. That shit's funny. And I wonder uh, if you can map that on the other cars that don't come with it. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure it can. Because yeah. nothing changes besides the exhaust on the M-Power kit and obviously the tune. But if you flash the car with MHD, like stage zero plus, then obviously you just have an M-Power kit at that point. And the difference in this exhaust, I think, is uh, if I'm not mistaken, the stock 340s have a cat right in the middle and they have a resonator in the back of yeah it. i was gonna say there's definitely a resonator in the middle and then this car doesn't have anything it's got a straight through exhaust all the way back to the in performance just the muffler. muffler which is why the car is a lot louder than stock <clears throat> but we gotta see some options for exhaust too which I'm gonna, you know, look around and see if I, I like anything. Or we go, or we go single exit. I like the sound <laughs> I was gonna mention that, bro. <laughs> I was gonna mention bumper. that, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's go. 328 diffuser with a single exit. Hell yeah. First 340 to do it, what? Oh. Hey, I've looked that up before already. I was like, F30, single exit. Nothing. And all you see is just. 328. Little McDonald's straws for two of them. I haven't seen a vibrant muffler on one of them. Well, you'll be the first. I'm sure that'll end up happening. I think that's gonna be. Well, that's if I do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, I guess that's but... another thing that we didn't mention. I mean, for essentially two, three hours of work, 
you get 400 horsepower. And that's anybody can do that shit in two, three hours. Yeah, I mean, these, these cars are so easy to work on as far as, you know, charge pipe, down pipe, and stuff like that. Not talking about internals or any of that. Yeah. yeah. Talking about just basic bolt-ons. It's very easy to do for anybody. This is true. So, I would say it's definitely worth it. As far as price goes, down pipe, charge pipe, intake, and the inlet, I'll have all that in the description below. The tune was 450 euros. I don't know what that is. It's like 500 bucks. Yeah, 500, 500 bucks for a super license. You get every map, you get all the logging parameters, and I mean, you can pretty much do anything with that. And it's got an option for the high pressure fuel pump with E40, which I know is, I guess, is the most used tune for the cars that have a high pressure fuel pump. Yeah. At that point, you're probably pushing, I don't know, 450, 500. I don't know what the power numbers are, but I'm sure we'll find out one day when I upgrade this high pressure fuel pump. And it's not going to be a TU pump. I'm going to tell you that right now because that's just a waste of money. <coughs> Why do you say that? Because at that point you might as well go upgrade it. Yeah, true. Unless you got you get a used one or you go to a junkyard and pull it off of a, a Supra, which is highly unlikely. Good luck finding one of those in a junkyard. And same thing with the M340i. Good luck finding that. Because all you're going to find is nothing. But this is this is what I really want to know. What boot my, what kind of boots boot my has? Like, imagine it's maps. like 19 psi, bro, or <laughs> 18 something. Like exposed. So, <laughs> you got played. You got played, bro. For more money. How much does it make stock boost? Uh, I have no idea. I I think it's like 12. If I don't mistake, I could be mistaken, but that I think it's like right. around 12. Um, what well, is it imagine called? like N54s, they make 8 psi. <laughs> exactly, so they <laughs> turn turbo and they look like snails. Yeah, they're turbo, literally so. like hand sized. And then the ISs make 11. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's oh why boy. they made 330. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. First, little bit second, but that was like a soft launch. Yeah. yeah, and that was short shifting. That's not bad. I like, I like. Definitely can't do that with a E90. Oh, you gotta break that axle <laughs> right away. <laughs> no, that thing just lights up tires, and you can't well, even like true. shift to the second gear because you're like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Need some slicks like Steven had. True. Yeah, that he never put on his car. I put it on whenever we race. I saw him on there a couple times. Bro, come on. It's in the video. That's why the video got so many views. Because they saw my wheels and I'm just joking. Alright, well, I guess we're going to close the video with this. So, yeah. Definitely, if you have a 340, B58, obviously. Because you can't get anything other than B58. If you have a 340 and you have a B58, and if you want to make easy power, this is the... This is the move. This is the move. Obviously, you don't have to buy the intake that I have. Yeah, intake. you could definitely just get a cheaper one and have the same effect. Yeah. But this intake, one looks cool. Intake, as far as that, that's just for looks for me. For looks and, you know, you can get away with... Pro I'm sure you can get away with stock, but I don't think that's going to be beneficial to the turbo. Mm -hmm. Remember to comment, like... Subscribe, do all that thing for all swap that people. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all that shit. All that shit. Yes. <laughs> Bye.